A lot of respect before the game uh, for our opponent and uh, probably a little bit more afterwards. I thought they did well, very well coached team. And uh, I think they're best personnel since we've been going against them. And I think they've always had decent personnel, but that was a, a good team. Um, you know, got to make sure we win by three scores against a team we have a lot of respect for, and I feel lousy. So we just got to pick it up and go again and get guys healthy, and we're getting ready for a stretch run, go on the road. Uh, but once again, that was a hard-fought victory, uh, won by three touchdowns, and left a lot of pass offense on the field. That was the alarming thing and, and early turnover. But I thought our defense had a couple uh, sudden changes, I want to say two, uh, and held them at least to a field goal. And then obviously the fourth down, that was the play of the day. That The two plays were the fourth down and also Paris on his uh, the kickoff return team. Obviously he didn't do that by himself, but Coach Combs is in charge of the KOR unit and they did outstanding. So uh, uh, I'll take questions from you guys. Far left, Austin. Urban, not to nitpick a 21 point victory, uh, but if you see look at the stat sheet and Curtis Samuel's involvement, uh, I don't know how you would feel about his involvement in the game today. What are your first thoughts if you see that number maybe where you would like it to be. Yeah, we, are, we it's a 15 to 20 is what we're trying to hit. I'm not sure if he had any catches or not. Uh, he had nine carries. That's not enough. And uh, you know, it was just an awkward game. It was one of those games where we just, uh, you know, we're one of those teams that we have to, you saw that last year. If we, uh, we're a big part of our passing game is the execution of the deep ball. And that tends to get everybody off of us. And we mi uh, just flat misfired on a few of them. I mean, we're I think I'll, I'll know more after watching the tape, but whether it be pressure, whether it be misfire, whatever it was, uh, we just have to do better. Uh, front row right over here, Tim. <clears throat> Urban, uh, about that fourth line, fourth and goal, or not fourth and one, excuse me, uh, Nick Bosa steps up, huge play there and everything. What, what did you see from your side there, and what does that kind of play do, do for a young player like Nick Bosa? I can't, you can't see anything from the sideline. Um, I, I heard over the headsets and, and – uh, um, Nick Bosa, from what I understand, had probably his best day, and so we just got to play him probably a bit more. And as uh, as he's getting healthy and more involved in the defense, so um, obviously we, he's a guy that that last name high expectations, and he, I think he's starting to fulfill them. And you, uh, you you said earlier this week you thought Paris Campbell was due <laughs> for a big kickoff return. You got it. Just how key was that in oh. that part of the game? Yeah, I can't. It was right before half. I remember that and. Uh, there it is right there. We scored with 30 seconds left, went fast. Uh, yeah, they scored with 103, and, and Lou Holtz used to always say uh, most critical times of the game were momentum five minutes before the half and five, the first five minutes after the half. And that was, that was a dominating uh, uh, play, and it was obviously it wasn't just Paris. So that, that was the fourth down, and the, that was the play of the day, and that's why we beat Indiana. Over to the left there, Bill. You touched on the passing struggles. Can you put your finger on what the problems were, why you struggled? Did they do anything with their coverage that was different? No, no, I, I don't believe so. I'll know more from you when I, I meet with you guys on whatever it is, Wednesday or, or Monday in the phone call. But I, um, I'd say 50% of the time I'm wrong when I say something on a press conference. So until I see the videotape. Uh, over on the right here, Rob. Urban, you, you talk about JT, you want to limit his carries. I think maybe 24 yeah. carries out of whack. Uh, Way out of whack. What's, what was going on there? And Yeah, they were, the uh, Bears showed up a little bit, and we were having trouble executing the pass game, and they were plus one in us in the box, and so uh, we had to win the damn game. And he's one of our best players, and they were forced, some of the things they were forcing to do on a perimeter run game, they were giving us a look to have him run it instead of hand it off all the time, which is we'd ideally rather hand it off. So once again, well defended. And uh, uh, we went, you know, we'd, I think we would feel all much better about ourselves if we hit three of those passes that are downfield because that's that was the kind of game it was. Is it ever dangerous <clears throat> to fall into a security blanket with him? What's that? Is it ever dangerous to fall into security? Totally, real dangerous. Uh, I don't know the word dangerous, but I mean, you just don't want to get too much of that. But that is a little bit of my security blanket is he's one of the best players in America. Go get a first down, JT. Far left, Bill. Urban, I know you said that you want overall Curtis to get more touches, but I think in your first 25 offensive snaps, he touched the ball once, and you've called him your best offensive playmaker. Is there maybe moving forward going to be more urgency to get him involved earlier in games? Yes. <laughs> That's duly noted. Thank you. <laughs> Over to the right here, Clay. You have the numbers in front of you. I think he may have run it five more times than he threw it. Um, durability, we're, it's only week five. 
Uh, I'm just worried about your backup quarterback situation if JT gets gets banged. You guys up. are great. I appreciate that, Clay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The, the love I feel for you. Your, your genuine concern. And I agree with you. I agree with you, and I agree with you. Curtis needs to touch the ball early in the game, and JT had too many uh, uh, carries, so we have to fix it. Front row right here. Coach, talk about the play of your defense again, just stout. Stout and sudden change and uh, very aggressive and held them to uh, – uh, it just seems like they didn't get the rush in going at all. He had 40 carries for 99 yards, and – and I just thought, you know, they have that very good player, Mitchell Page, held him to. Uh, and I thought our punt unit did a great job. We we changed some things because that kid's a ridiculous punt returner. Um, so I hope he's a senior. Is he out of there? Mm-hmm. Page, does anybody know if the, it's Page, right? He, I think he, he's gone. I think he's fantastic. And uh, and our we've worked so hard on getting our guys. The the punter did a great job, and our three guys sell them. They had zero return yards on five six punts. So our defense played great. Special teams played great. Uh, a team win. You know, all, we give up a bad score right at the end of the uh, first half, and there's our kickoff return team knocks it down there, and we uh, up tempo them and go score a touchdown. So very good win. And final question over here to the right, Tino. Coach, uh, a lot of uncharacteristic penalties coming from you guys today. Mm-hmm. Um, sideline warning for one. Uh, how is that? You know, going to be a sideline penalty. Yeah, I, I, yeah, a sideline penalty for sure. Um, can you just speak on how that's affected you guys today? And, today uh, was a problem. We had one uh, time we had a first down, and we got it called back because uh, one of the receivers didn't line up on the line of scrimmage. So we got those are all correctable mistakes. They're very disappointed, and maybe we're doing too much. So that's my job tomorrow to evaluate why did that happen. And like you said, very uncharacteristic in those situations. The sideline thing, I got to find out what happened. I think uh, one of our players at uh, Fisher ran into him, so that would have been a devastating one if it was before. It was after the ball was incomplete. So, uh, but I think the way you said is uncharacteristic. Let's get it fixed. You won by 21. It's much easier to fix when you win than if you lose. And that was a, that's, I'm telling you now, that's a, you guys saw it. And you saw what they did last week. They beat Michigan State. So let's take that one, move on, and get ready for Wisconsin.